we're gonna start things off with a cold start this time around. Anyways, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Jamal. Hope you guys are all doing well. Happy Labor Day to everyone out there. I hope you guys are enjoying your time off. Um, I just wanted to throw this quick video up today regarding a subject that I found very interesting. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, at Jamal's Garage, um, you'll know that a few weeks ago I posted up a message on my dashboard of my Corvette that said service tire pressure monitoring system. And a lot of you guys replied to that story and asked me if I actually had tire pressure sensors in my wheels. And I thought that all the Corvette C5Z06s came with tire pressure monitoring systems. And I was like, of course I do, a car came with it. But to my knowledge, or to my surprise, I guess, um, a lot of you guys pointed out that the C5Z06 did not actually come with a tire pressure monitoring system. Now this led me to do some research because um, as some of you guys may or may not know, I worked at Discount Tire for five and a half years all through college and uh, so I was pretty well versed on uh, TPMS systems and how they work on cars. So it piqued my interest and I looked into it and I found out that the C5 Corvette Z06s actually did not come with a TPMS system. Well let me rephrase that. The car actually can accept TPMS sensors but it did not come with any from the factory and so the system was kind of deactivated from the factory. But I guess that whoever had my car before put sensors in the tires and the system was active because I could see how much pressure was in all my tires. And also when I changed out the wheels, I swapped those sensors into my new wheels and relearned the system so that I do have an active TPMS system. So in today's video, I kind of want to uh, go over what you guys can do to your C5 Corvette Z06 to actually... Uh, use that TPMS system that is equipped in the car. Now to get the TPMS system to actually work on the Corvette C5 Z06 it's actually a lot simpler than you might think. All you really need is tire pressure sensors and uh, those can be purchased through Discount Tire. I think Discount Tire, tire charges around 60 bucks installed uh, for each sensor and you need four of them. So through them is around 240 bucks if my math adds up correctly. Um, but you can also get them at Rock Auto. I think they're around $25 on Rock Auto. I know I always plug them, but they have the cheapest parts when it comes uh, to parts for these cars. But you want to look for the Schrader brand when it comes to sensors. That is um, actually one of the really good brands. Um, the AC Delco ones, you could get those, but I wouldn't mess with those. I would look for the Schrader ones on the website. I'll throw a link in the description to the ones that you guys can actually purchase and the ones that will work. Um, but anyways, you get the Schrader sensors. I think they're around 25 bucks a piece, so four, you're looking at 100 bucks. And then take them to, I would take them to Discount Tire because they actually have uh, the TPMS relearn tool, um, but really any other tire shop should. And they'll actually throw those sensors in there for you. You just gotta pop the top bead really and throw it in and then tighten it down and then air the tire back up and throw it on. And so once that's on, uh, once the sensors are in the wheels, you just have to kind of activate them. And I'll show you guys how to do that over here in the car. Um, Twin Flag, if you're watching, he's got a really great video on how to do this as well. Um, I'll link that video as well below. And uh, anyways, I'll show you guys how we put this car in relearn mode. And then you'll also need a donut magnet. I'll throw a link up right here. Um, you can purchase one of these through Amazon for like 10 bucks if you wanted to do it yourself. You just want to take your wheels up there, have the sensors put in, bring them back, and throw the wheels on your car. And then with that magnet, you can actually uh, activate and relearn the Corvette sensors. So. Um, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and hop in the car and show you guys how to get to that menu option and how to put it in relearn mode. For those of you that are wondering, an easy way to tell if your wheels actually have sensors in them is just by looking at the valve. Like, if you look at the valve here on this wheel, you can see it's got a uh, stainless kind of nut that is screwed in there. And if we actually pull the cap off, you can see it's it's... It's like a metal valve stem, and that basically is what a sensor valve looks like. So there's gonna be a sensor on the other end of that. Um, alternatively, I did buy some different uh, sensors for the front through Discount Tire when I was working there. These actually have a black valve, if you guys can see there, a black valve stem. Uh, and those are a different type of Schrader sensor that I bought through Discount Tire, and those are kind of universal. So, um, if you went through if you went through Discount Tire, they'd probably sell you something that looked like that. But for the most part, on these vehicles, at least on the other C5 Corvettes, you're gonna have 
a valve stem that is metal and looks like that. So let's go ahead and hop in and I'll show you guys how to put it in a relearn mode. All right guys, so here we are inside the car. I just put the key in the on position with the e-brake set. Now to get to where you can relearn the tire pressure monitor system, you basically, um, once you have the car on, you're kind of on your menu there. Right now, mine says average zero. I leave mine on uh, fuel economy. So anyways, you just want to hit the option four option here and keep going until there is no message displayed okay boom so there's no message displayed now so now you want to hold the reset button now it says FOB training now this is for like a key fob training and then you want to hit option again to kind of go through the options tire training now once you get to tire training you want to hit reset and that's gonna put it in a relearn mode I'm not gonna do it now because my uh, I don't want to mess with the system that I have currently, but once you hit reset, it'll put it in that relearn mode and then it'll tell you to train the left front tire. So you'll come out here and with your magnet, if you bought those uh, Schrader sensors with the metal valves, you just kind of put the magnet over the valve here and then the car will honk, giving you an audible confirmation that it read the sensor. And then you want to just go in a clockwise fashion. So you want to come back to here, take your magnet, put it on there the car will honk again you come back to your passenger side rear you put the magnet over that the car will honk again and then finally you come to your driver's side rear and you put the magnet over that and the car will honk for a fourth time and that will confirm that you have activated your sensors and then to know if your sensors are active I'm just gonna turn the car off here turn it back on to let your sensors are working basically clear that out and then you can go to your gauges here option two and then you can see it gives you a readout of your tire pressure uh, sensor so they're on the rear the left rear and the right rear both 28 and then you can see my fronts are both at 30 psi and that's basically how you get the TPMS system to work. It's actually pretty straightforward. And yeah, so as you guys can see, it's pretty simple. It is cool that Chevy did leave that uh, TPMS software and hardware in the car to where you couldn't use it. I just think it's kind of weird that they didn't put TPMS sensors in the wheels and tires themselves because I thought, you know, they put them all the other Corvettes. I don't know if it, the weight savings was <laughs> significant enough to not put the tire pressure si uh, monitoring system in. But it's a good thing to have because if you're like me, you're running late to work in the morning, you hop in the car, you turn it on, and you don't necessarily always look at all your tires, but it will tell you if you have a flat tire and will kind of prevent you from driving on a flat tire and potentially damaging your rim. So I just kind of want to make that video because I did find it interesting that they didn't actually uh, have TPMS uh, sensors in the tires from the factory. So uh, anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Please leave all your questions below. I'll try to answer as many as I can. Um, follow me on Instagram at Jamal's Garage. Please comment, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.